Hi guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com. And um, as you know, I learned how to do readings and healings and all that quite a while ago. And I didn't know that the number one thing people would be coming to me for advice on was um, relationships. I learned that um, straight away. Everybody who comes for a reading wants to ask about a relationship. And um, I understand why. But um, I specifically do a lot of work with women and, and relationships. I created a program called Get Him Off Your Mind in 28 Days that helps women to stop obsessing about guys and stuff. And something has come up, um, or has been coming up a lot with, with some of the people I'm working with, which is how do you date, especially with like the Bumble and Tinder and all this online stuff, how do you date people and have an open heart and be open to who comes in but yet not set yourself up for total devastation if it doesn't work out with the guy. And, and that's a definite like tough thing to, to deal with. And, and it's like, you kind of can't give up if you really want to meet somebody, you have to keep putting yourself out there, but it's gotta be so hard to put yourself out there when, when, um, oftentimes things don't lead to anything great. So I was talking uh, to someone about this the other day and what came up was for her, which I think would be helpful for you if you're in this whole dating scenario, is to treat these guys, and okay, so specifically I'm speaking to women right now, treat these guys like they are interviewees. So as they come in, like, like you wouldn't do a job interview without having criteria for the job and you wouldn't hire someone for the job if they didn't match like everything i'm all my little job checklist here if they didn't match everything on your list what i've seen a lot of times with women is that they'll um they'll like pass over on one or two things if the guy's like good enough they'll be like oh well i guess he's good enough so i'll just like look look, overlook the fact that he lives two hours away (laughs) or that like he um just got divorced and my intuition is telling me he's not ready for a long-term relationship. You know what I mean? So if you treat the whole dating thing like here's a candidate and I'm going to just have this sort of process, um, yes, it does involve a sort of detachment, but the problem is if you get too attached right away, you're going to set yourself up for that. So you know, it's like this weird thing where you have to have a certain degree of attach of detachment. Um, so treating it like a job prospect thing will be helpful and you can still have an open heart and love that person for who they are and appreciate admire them but with that cool level-headed detachment to where you can tell and your intuition again will really start to kick in here you can tell whether or not he's right for you that also involves you setting up your energy so that you're not thinking, I really hope that he likes me. Instead, you're thinking like, I hope that, you know, we like each other. And I had to say that because a a lot of people, um, yes, of course, you know the toads and the ones you don't want to be with, right? But if it's someone that's passable or that's like really cute or like kind of all that, like you you do kind of some, a lot of women tend to put themselves in this, like, well, I hope he really likes me. And is he going to call and all that? And then you give him your power and then you go into this whole cycle, yada, yada, yada. So bottom line, what I'm trying to say is, again, treat it like, like a job interview. And you can go through that really quickly and like, don't get attached until something real starts forming. And it, and it is something that you feel like you can count on. And I'm kind of old school. I mean, I've been married for a long time too, but, um, especially if you're spiritual and, um, tuned in, you don't really probably want to sleep with somebody straight away because there's an energy exchange that happens there and they take yours and you take theirs and you, you really, you almost like kind of, you bring them, you're bringing them into your body and you're kind of merging your spirits and all that. And that makes it harder to be like, oh, whatever, whatever, after the fact. So um, just think about that for a little bit and do whatever you want to do. And there's no judgment or anything, but just if you're a sensitive spiritual person, um, you might notice that if you do that, you'll get more attached right away and want them to be someone that they're not perhaps um, 
ready to be. Maybe they just wanted to get laid and not have a relationship. So you've got to look out for that too. Um, so I hope that helps. And if you have more questions about relationships and intuition and psychic and spiritual development, email me at ask at and I'll um, do a video or I'll look into it and, and see what I can um, tap into. If you like this video, please subscribe. I do videos every week and um, that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.